All right, we made this little nice little milk fe pig to feed her. I changed it fast to see how long it lasts. They're getting big. Got it all cleaned up in here. talk about something but we just started bringing in this uh, wheat leach we made here a few weeks ago he's throwing it down now if you guys could smell this born right now just a fresh sawdust feed animals so it's really nice stuff now, we didn't get the protein checked on this yet, but that was that nice wheat we made. And it looked like they're really enjoying it. So we'll go up on top and show you what we're doing on top here in a minute. Get this day started. And yes, we're weaning a couple more calves off the cows off of the, up in the upper barn. So it's really noisy down here. It takes the right products to finish beef. And we're using uh, between barley, a grain mix, and now this wheat leach. So we'll start into this. And then uh, when we, uh, hopefully we're going to make some alfalfa here. And that'd be for the dairy side. I do feed it to beef cattle too, a little for protein. But you want to watch your protein levels of beef. Now she just gets up here and eats. She'll realize this is the best she ever had. That's sweet 16. Sweet 16. Noisy. He's still bringing more feed now. That's good. Just clean up everything and brush it off the beams there a little bit. No more. Ah. 
I like doing that, just keeping it so it don't dry out too much. Nice young stem. <laughs> They're like, it's manna. Okay, we're gonna put the bales up on top of the barn floor here. This stuff is so fine, and it's really hard to uh, keep together. But it smells really good. And then just throw it down through the floor and fork it out. So I want to clean this plastic up, and uh, this bale will probably last three days. There's probably uh, 40 head down there, roughly, I guess. Over 40, probably. All right, and then this probably will not go to the beef cattle up the barn because we're going to feed the barley. And uh, this is just going to be a little higher protein. Being it was made nice and young before it went into head. All right, guys, this is our second bale here of this uh, wheat leach. Now, this bale here has a little more moisture in it, and we pulled in here, and you can line up on the floor, but the bale fell over. So, we're going to try something different here. I'm not sure what he's trying to do, but it's going to be a mess feeding this bale. It comes apart pretty easy, but this here has a little bit more moisture than in the first bale. That's a nice, you know, the cattle like little moisture in their feed. Yeah. So it looks really nice. To me, it looks like a mess here, but hopefully we can get it fed. So, okay, off to the next project. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull the big baler out. We've got to put acid in it. We're going to back along the bank over there and uh, lift the toad up. I'll see what the toad is here in a minute. I'll let him take the skid loader over. And um, if I would start feeding anything, I'd be feeding on that side first because it looks like it's, you can dig it went out with a pitchfork. On my hands. Yeah. So, got a nice Max a seed consultant hat on. When did you get that one? Yeah. <laughs> Where's all your hats at? Yeah. You got a Hess seed shirt on and seed consultant. Uh, Hot. There's the one of the dairy animals. Okay, here's the tank on the back, and that's some of you guys ask what that tank's for, but that's where the acid's gonna go. Now you can buy a pump, and I talked about that about the other baler, and uh, and you can hook right on here and pump it in. And um, it reminds me, we gotta get our stinger on there, fire extinguisher. And um, that's down in the basement here. I keep forgetting that. So there's about, uh, I think there's about 30, 40 gallon in there yet. So we're gonna empty that. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out. Close her up first. Make sure all your doors are shut. Who did that? Are you all right? We're gonna have to clean that up. Somebody caught that. That little story there is those. Uh, we were bailing in there, and the field was wet. It started jackknifing a little bit on those steep hills. We got some cleaner, I'll clean that up. So that's the toad up there. He's getting hooked up to the pallet forks. All right, so what I do is back in here on the bank. You can see everything looks okay. And we come right in here with a skid loader and we don't have to lift it so high. Now it leans a little bit, but that's okay. He's going up on top, he'll open the tank up and uh, get ready to fill this tank up. It holds uh, 150 gallon. So. Yeah, 550 liters, can you own that? 
Turn it, yep, like that. One more time, you almost had it. Don't make me climb up there. You got it right way. All right, looks like I have to climb. So we got this short hose. He's gonna line it up in the tank for me. I just stick this on here like this. Now we have done it so many different ways over the two hands. Okay, we got the big grill up. This is getting ready to open up here a little bit. Go ahead, open up more. Sand back here a little bit. Now it doesn't look the safest, but the way <laughs> trust me, it's safe. Nobody's in danger. So that we got the tank lid open, and there she comes up. And we don't always fill it clear full to the top. Yes. With this uh, ground, we do a bailing a lot. It could be pretty hilly and stuff, and we end up splashing it all over. So we want to make sure we have enough here. We got some big jobs to do here. So yes, More dangerous. Mm. wet stuff will take your the oxygen right out of your mouth. So it does an excellent way of filling up the baler acid and. Uh, well, it's leaning that way, so that's get pretty full. Well, guys, we finally did it. We got a camera in the tractor here from Hollow View. It's a wireless camera, and I can see what's going on in the back of the big baler now.